Hatun Sacha Biological Research Station is Ecuador's largest conservation organization. There has been quite a bit of the development in this section of the Amazon. The forests here are secondary and tertiary. Hatun Sacha is not only a research station, but an educational center where the public can enjoy medicinal tours. Fortunately for us, we have the local shaman Jaime as our medicinal plant expert and guide. It's good, very sweet. And if this suppresses appetite, I'm taking a whole bunch home. In Ecuador, there are an amazingly over 18,000 known species of plants. So if you think about the size of Ecuador and how tiny it is, imagine the number of plants that exist on planet Earth. With that in mind, consider the fact that less than one half of one percent of the higher plant species have been extensively studied for their medicinal value. Of that one half of one percent, approximately 55 percent of our pharmaceuticals have been manufactured, derived from, or synthetically patterned after. Jaime's forefathers have studied and learned from many spirits, spirits found within trees, mountains, rivers, lagoons, and the ritual stones. Jaime, in turn, will pass on his knowledge to his sons. The unusual head-shaped rock with the eyes and mouth guides Jaime spiritually. He believes that these unique-shaped rocks are alive. By rubbing alcohol on the stone and then rubbing the stone against the body, he removes the bad inside. <laughs> Jaime whistles an ikaro, one of many melodies used to summon the spirits. These songs are said to be taught by the spirits themselves during the ayahuasca journeys. Jaime's ceremony was very distinct from the others that I've experienced in various parts of the world. Perhaps it was his love or his spirit that engulfed me. I'm not sure. All I know is that when I left, I felt as if I was saying goodbye to a beautiful old friend.